Howdy, Lou. Are you folks going to catch a 915? Yep. Must have lost my charm. Couldn't talk him into staying any longer. Oh, Lou, we couldn't have had a nicer time visiting you and Emma, but we do have to get back. Train's going to be a half hour late. Oh, no. Oh, Audra Brady isn't leaving until tonight. You'll be back in plenty of time. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Uh, what can I do for you? We come a long way, and we'd like to get a drink of water. Help yourself. Water bucket's inside. Thank you, Captain. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. What do you boys want? Just get that safe open in there and won't nobody be hurt. Safe? Oh, well, I can't open that safe. I... Get inside there. All of you. Come on, Larry. Get. You better get that shoe fixed, young man, if you're going to be a safe robber. I tell you, it just won't open. You'd better not lie to me, mister. You know what's good for you. No, no, they, they sent this new one out, and the combination just don't work. Hey, you, Shorty, you go get her. Don't you get on that horse, that saddle. Hey, get off there. You heard, miss? No, I'm not. Oh, I tried to warn you about that saddle. Yeah. And I don't need any help from you. Well, no call to act snippety. Now you've broken Duke's saddle. Sure gonna make him mad. You're gonna have to fix it before that train gets in. We got us a hold-up going on. You ain't gonna mess it up. Go on. Pick it up. Go on. Go on. I tell you, mister, this combination just won't work. I'm gonna count to ten, and if that safe ain't open, I'm gonna blow a hole right through your vest button. One, two, three. I swear to Moses, mister, they put the paper and the money from the cattle shipping in here, closed her up, and now nobody can get it open. Three, four, five. They sent all the way to St. Louis for a new set of numbers. Shut up. Six. 
seven. Oh, put that thing away. You shut up and get back over there. If you the shoot him, he never can tell you the combination. But I don't know it. When I get to ten, I'm going to blow biggest hole in you since Garberville. Now, you better get that thing open. Please, mister. Please. I swear I can't open this safe. There ain't a train do, is there? Eight, huh? <laughs> there ain't a train do, is there? This guy keeps looking at his watch. No, there ain't no train do. I checked. There ain't no train do for two hours. Now, leave me alone with my accountant, Seb. Mm. Well, you checked wrong. The train for Stockton is overdue right now. Why do you suppose we're waiting here? I said I checked, and there ain't no train do. Better make a run for your horses. You, you, you just shut up and stay out of my business. What, what, what are we going to do, Duke? Hell, would you take him back there in that room and, and, and lock him up, and, uh, and the rest of you, you stay right where you are. You get back inside there. Go on. Go on. You try signal that train or anything, they'll want to shoot you, you understand? And I want you to sit over there on the bench with me. Mother, the train is good. Yes, I know, dear. Do you mind if my daughter catches the train? You can keep me here. Yes, I do, man. Shorty, you take her in there and shut her up. I'm not going in that baggage room. Well, Andre, do what he says. Please, miss, you don't understand. You have take to do what... Take your hands off me. Do what... Now! Yeah. 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 And you! And you! Don't you try nothing, because I'd just soon shoot these look at you. Oh, no, I, I promise. You know, you really don't have to shoot anyone. I figured out how to check up on that safe combination. You don't be figuring out nothing except sit there and be quiet. If they wrote to St. Louis about the safe, there will be a copy of the letter in the files. Yeah, what'll that prove? Well, it'll prove he wasn't lying. Hey, Duke, couldn't we just make a run for it? No! Get back in there and be quiet. We're staying. Now, what good will that do if you can't get the safe open? Oh, Henry. Hi. Oh, did you know your fire barrel had a hole in it? Oh, sure. Well, how many passengers you got? None. None? Thought you were going to have passengers. You had the flag out. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, no passengers, none at all. Something wrong with you, Henry? No, nothing at all. We're waiting for the southbound. I won't be here till this afternoon. It's all right, we'll wait. Well, Henry, you're behind schedule already. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You ain't got the grip or something. No, I'm perfectly all right. It's fine. All right. Oh, uh, let me get that fire barrel fixed. The superintendent won't like it. Well, I you told have a you. copy of the letter you wrote to St. Louis. Copy? You manage your own business. Well, if you wrote a letter about the state, there ought to be a copy of it in the files. Oh, I, I never thought. <laughs> hey, Duke. She bit my thumb. Can't you do anything right? How come you let her out of the sack? I didn't. Elwood did. Elwood! Hmm? Put her back in that sack. Oh, I did already. <laughs> I've had a childish behavior. Hey, you. Get back in there. Get back in there, will you? No. Hey, you two, you get in here. Here it is. He wasn't lying. Bill of lading and payment for... Tony, come here. You read all that. They, uh, sir, we have not been able... To get the safe open on the numbers you sent. See, I told you. Hey, Duke. It says here $3,000. $3,000? Three thousand We didn't figure but a couple hundred. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can 
you boys to believe me now, won't you? I told you everything was gonna work out all right. You see, I told you. You still got to get the safe open. Look, do you really want to take this money? It doesn't belong to the railroad, you know. It belongs to a lot of people. Payment for cattle shipments. Now, I'm a telling you for the last time. Shut up! Get yourself over there on that bench and sit down and quit flapping your jaw every time I turn around. Now. Let's pull this thing out here and see what you look like, boys. <laughs> Hell, would we'll take him out back, get every tool he's got. Crowbars, sledgehammers, augers, bracing vents, white knot. Go on, hit it. Get, get, get. Come on, Tori. One, ten. I don't think you'll ever get it open. I told you, and I told you, one more word. And that's my final warning! Maybe we can bust it open underneath. Nope. One of them there hinges is, is the best place to hit it. Right. Did the jar loose any? No, it's gonna take a couple more bad doggies. I, I bet you're getting it, Shorty. You sure got the paint bunged up. Hey, you got a little dent right there. <laughs> Progress. Can't you set Summers else? You're gonna get yourself hurt. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me anyhow. Shorty, go get that big hammer. We're gonna try the rock drill. I might point out that the metal in that safe is a lot harder than the metal in the drill. How'd you know that? My husband was in mining. Did he ever bust open a safe? No, of course not, but... Lady... I know. Shut up. That's right. Because you don't know nothing about it, then, do you? Hellwood, you take him and go get a rope and some block and tackle. We gonna turn her upside down. What are you doing now? Getting a sandwich and some lemonade. Oh, it's still cold. Would you like some? No, we ain't hungry. Well, there's plenty. Mr. Johnson made more than we could possibly eat. We ain't got no time for that. Elwood, come up there on that safe and rig up that block and tackle of them rafters. Come on now, hurry up. <laughs> What 
you doing? I'm going to get this door open. Audra, I know how you feel, but those are desperate men. There's no telling what they'll do if we cross them. I'm still going to get out of here. Ouch! What happened? I broke my fingernail. What kind of sandwiches are they, man? Oh, a ham, and I think that's turkey. He don't want one. I don't think it's up to you to decide whether he wants a sandwich or not. Yeah. Sure, sir. Thank you, ma'am. We didn't have no supper last night. You sure you don't want one? All right, Elwood, would you clumb down now? Now, get a hold. We got to hoist her up this so we can get her high enough to tip her over. Come on, pull. Stay here. Pull hard. Shorty, don't stand there stuffing your face. Get over here and hip out. Hmm. All right, now. Three. Swing on her, I can't tip her over. Don't you think you better give up? No, I'm not giving up. And I'm not leaving here until we get this $3,000. How many grits and sour belly ain't the only thing in this world? And I want to get my share. I want you to understand that. Uh, boys, I, I, I don't want to get you mad or nothing, but uh, when that southbound pulls in here, somebody's going to notice that something's, well, not right. Elwood, get the horses. We going to leave, Duke? Shorty, if you want to leave, you get. But don't you never come back. When our daddy died, he had five cents. Five cents in an old tobacco can. And I'm going to have more than that for me and my kin. You come over here and help me out with them ropes now. Well, well, now, I, I don't think I ought to help you. Well, I mean, in my position, I, I'm supposed to prevent you from what you're doing, not help you. you... Oh, there, bud. Doggies. That'll keep you out of my hair. Oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do, dude? Get over there and get the wagon, shorty. Well, I'll take care of these ropes here. Just knock them in there, too. Mess them around. Uh, do you mind if I ask you what you're doing now? Yes, I do mind. You go in there and bring me back two of them sandwiches. Well, I thought you said you weren't hungry. And how'd you like to be knocked clear in the next Tuesday and don't think I won't do her either? He sure will, ma'am. I promise you that. Well, would you mind if I let my daughter and Mr. Johnson out of the baggage room and got them something to eat? No. Oh, I promise you, Audra won't make any trouble. Well, see better than that. Audra, Lou. Mother. You're both all right. That's what's fine. Mother, they tried to put that I back. I promised them you would be quiet, Audra. What are you doing? Getting them something to eat. You're feeding them? Audra, a man is less likely to kill if his stomach is full. Besides, I'm trying to get help. What good is this going to do us, Duke? Team of horses can't pull no door off no safe. We're going to slide through that door, slide it across the porch, and on to the wagon. Then we're going to haul it off with us. Duke, I <laughs> sure got to hand it to you. You ain't never stumped. You figure a thing out. Well, ain't you the one to say so. Shorty, you go in there and pry up on that safe one of them rappers. <laughs> Turkey, would you like some watermelon pickles? No. 
I wouldn't want to get knocked into next Tuesday. Woman, you just better stay clean out of my way. I don't think that door is going to be wide enough for the safe to get through. You steal that money. You help me with this, I'll hit you with this rock drill. You think I like doing this? Do get some of the damn blasted notions a man ever just get. Hey. Try out stealing cattle in New Mexico, and every one of them skinny critters had hoof and mouth disease. Dug six months for gold. All we got was fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. I'm sorry, but it's not going to fit through that door. How you gonna get her in the wagon? You got any dynamite? Dynamite? What would I be doing with dynamite? Think it's a train she meant? Got to be. The next one's not to leave. Conductor, you make a stop at Bixby Flats? Yeah, sure did. Did you pick up any passengers there? Nope. There wasn't anyone there at all? A woman and her daughter? A lady waiting for the southbound. Man with her, no daughter. Ah, oh, must have missed a train and changed her mind. Nice looking lady, sort of well dressed? Yep. Waiting for the southbound. Was there a young girl with her uh, blonde? Nope, just an ornery looking man wearing buckskin pants. Uh, the lady had silver hair, wore it up yep. kind of like. Oh, the boy! That was a Bigsby Flats? Yep. Bigsby Flats. Telegrapher. I'd like to send a telegraph to Bixby Flats, station agent. Bixby Flats? Uh, the station hasn't answered anything for, oh, the last two hours. Now the line's down? Couldn't be. The next station south is getting through all right. We had some funny signals there for a while, but now, nothing. Well, would you try it again? All right. Won't do any good. <laughs> Shack we camped, that is our only chance. There's dynamite there and ain't nobody around look on us. But do we need to take them along? There ain't gonna be nobody here shooting at us, Elwood, as long as they're sitting in the wagon. Robbery is five years in prison and kidnapping is 50. I, I, I just thought I'd mention that. When I want you... What makes you think you can get away with this? You know, somebody's bound to get... Shorty, go inside and bring me back a mail sack. Oh, I, I don't think that will be necessary. Shorty, bring back two. Two. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a gabby woman. Go get on, Lulu! Is that all to do her? She'll glide along like a feather in a lake. Reckon the law will be falling us, Elwood? Oh, like fleas to a dog, shorty. 
what's it Pa used to say about a beer fight? Oh, there ain't no way to quit once you start. Just keep clawing till one or the other of you is chewed up. <laughs> that's us. And that's safe. I see you, you shorty, you're running off at the mouth. Come on! You'll be home by tomorrow, sure. Tomorrow happens to be too late. Something special going on? Very special. Boyfriend, I suppose. Well, you can see him the next day. He'll be gone by then. I'm sorry. Well, if you're so sorry, then why don't you let us go? Sorry you shut up that talking and watch back there and see if we're tailed. I thought she might have something special going on, like an uncle was going to die or something. Or she's going to get married or something. Brady Mosier passed the examinations for West Point. The whole town's giving him a send-off. I was going to join the army once. Both cavalry. Pays $13 a month. He'll be an officer. You're doing you're making it tighter. Well, if you hold still a minute, maybe I could get something done. What they say? Help coming? No. They're just telling me I'm fired if I don't answer and tend to business. Come on. some rocks, and I want you to make a pile right over there. So would you. What are you doing? Just shut up. I want to leave a note. Can you write? Of course you can. Don't get smart, lady. There ain't no of course to it. Yes, I can. And I want you to write what I tell you on this piece of paper. You write. Uh, stop here. We'll be turned loose when the money is got out of the safe. How do you spell got? Shut up and write. They'll kill us, but we ain't hurt now. And you sign both your names to that. Elwood, come over here. They're going to follow us for sure. You take this here rifle and get up there on them rocks. If this note don't work, you shoot, and you shoot good. That's real good, shorty. Right there in the middle of the trail, they'll have to stumble over. Duke, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, go ahead. No, I... I mean, sort of private. You ain't getting no notions, are you, Shorty? This ain't no notion, Duke. I want to ask you something. Well? About where to put this. Duke. We ain't going to... You wouldn't shoot them women, would you?
took them both and said we better not follow. We better not plan on doing any wild shooting either. He's a railroad detective, and it's their money. All right, railroad detective, let's go. Very well, gentlemen. made a mess. Some people never can do nothing neat. Oh. Dynamite's in that sack right over there, shorty. Mr. Dew. What? Would you please untie us? No. We're nothing to be afraid of. And I promise you we won't run away. Well... All right. You start getting Gabby, you understand? You keep an eye on him, shorty, none time. I'm gonna get that dynamite. nothing to do with this, only Duke wanted well, to... Well, you don't need to explain to me. I guess anyone has the right to be a thief and a murderer if, if they want to be. I, I ain't a thief and murderer. Oh. Well, I suppose you're just borrowing that safe over there. Well, I ain't murdered anybody. Don't tell me. You shoot us in cold blood just as soon as look at us. All in the name of heavenly tarnation we wanted to get out of that safe was four or five hundred dollars. So we could get us out of this country and buy us a little ranch. These are the caps, the ones that blow up. I know that. Mr. Duke, I don't want to tell you your business. Don't call me, mister. All right, Duke. But if you dry these caps, they'll blow up. That sets off the dynamite. That's the whole idea. How you know that? Oh, believe me, take my word for it. Now, if you take some of these caps and attach them... To... I just bet you that you want to go in partnerships with us, don't you, and get no. some of our money? No, no, I'm just trying to get home without being blown up. Yeah, I'll bet you that. Up, pretty woman, you ain't out bigger than me. Sorry. After I untie that safe, I want you to take this team over there to the shack and take that Gabby woman with you. You untie on that rope there. Honey, you shot it. Put lollygags that woman and haul off that wagon. Got you, Duke. Get along, man. Give me them caps. Oh, Joe, this is nonsense. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to blow us Three thousand dollars ain't no nonsense. No, it's money, but it's only money. Only money. Well, I guess you wasn't ever poor, was you? Oh, she? yes, I was, Duke. Yes, I was. But I know what you're doing here doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, me and El Wood and Shorty go down to Mexico and get us a ranch. And that'll be it. We're going to get us a horse ranch, and we ain't going to worry no more about nothing. You're like someone who believes in Santa Claus. Life just doesn't work out that way, Duke. Uh, oh, for heaven's sake, you're going to blow us all up. Come on, now, wait. Put this back. Come on, gently, gently. Now, give me a length of fuse. Duke got that leg shot up in the war. Been honorary ever since. I never thought I'd live to see the day my mother was blowing up a safe. Now, you bring the rest of the dynamite.
вечерней ночи. what you're hauling about. The railroad don't matter. It's got all the money anyhow. But what about what happens to you? Does that matter? I get along all right. Well, you, what happens if you're caught and sent to prison? Well, what's that to you? I don't make any difference to you. Shorty, people make themselves what they are. If a man has clean clothes and a job and, and learns to act decent, well, then he's as good as anybody else. How didn't I act decent? Well, it's threatening to shoot women decent. Look. Nobody's gonna shoot you. And if anybody did, I mean, if anybody looked at you that way, I'd... You could become whatever you wanted to be. You could get a job, get married, and have a family. Nobody'd ever want to marry me. I think they would. What if this don't blow her open, Duke? Don't you start on me, boy. There ain't no whips about it. I'm a gonna get that money out of that safe if it's the last mortal thing I do. Them ladies are sure fine people, Duke. What's that got to do with it? Nothing. I just thought I'd say it. Well, you said it. Oh, just... They're going to use an awful lot of dynamite. We'd better get behind the shack. You'd better let me do that, Duke. That's a short fuse. We're going to have to run. I can run. Don't be a hardhead. <laughs> Shorty, go get the wagon. Any way you look at it, robbing safes ain't easy. safe. Money has got out of the safe. She wouldn't say it like that. They told her what to write. Let's try her out. I'll tell you, there's a lot of money in that safe. Three thousand dollars. I'd give them three thousand dollars right now if they turned Mother and Order loose. What? And let those men get away with robbery? Besides, there's twenty thousand dollars in that safe. The station agent said three thousand. Well, I'm telling you twenty thousand. That was a special shipment. Railroad business. They must have a lookout posted somewhere in those rocks. I think I'll take a walk up there. Maybe they might talk if I... 
Take off my gun. Yeah, I'll be with you. Where did that shot come from? Somewhere up there. You're not gonna let that stop you, are you? That's right. Nobody else is going busting up there shooting either. Money in that safe ain't the reason we're here, mister. That's only paper. Paper? That's railroad money. Speak for what's your own. I am. Somewhere up there is our mother and our sister. for an hour now. You got any better ideas? Duke, it's not too late to change your mind. Get on your horses and ride out. You'd like that, wouldn't you? There are thousands of possible combinations. Now, you'll be here a month, and I don't think Elwood can hold off those men that long. Duke, you ain't never gonna get that thing open. Why don't we do what she says? Shut up! Look, I'll go get Elwood. We can get out of here. Shut up! I'm gonna get that money out of this here safe if I have to die trying, and I don't mind telling you I wouldn't mind killing somebody along with it. I ain't been nothing, I ain't nothing, but I ain't gonna be nothing no more. You, Shorty, come here. Go ahead, shoot me, Duke. I don't care. You need the combination. Now send Audra down for it. You can keep me here. You'd love to get her out of here, wouldn't you? That's right. But she'll bring back the combination, and then you set us free. Mother, I'm not going to go and leave you here alone. You'll do what the Duke says. Good. And now get rid of you, you flaxen-haired old mouth woman. I'm plumb wore out of tying you up. And you can tell them down there that I'm going to shoot your maw if they don't do what I say. Or do you tell them I'm all right, but they have to help us get the safe open. Tell them if they don't, that the Duke is just mean enough to... Well, you convince them. Don't need no convincing. Old Duke is not really mean. He's just stubborn. And if you used that stubbornness in the right direction, you'd be the richest man in three counties. Audra, get going. And you tell him down there you better come back by yourself. You dead burn, chunk of morn, you dead nip. <laughs> Where are you going? It's Audra. Audra! Audra. Is Mother all right? Oh, yes, she's all right. And they won't hurt her. We'll get it. Don't worry you, about it. You mean it. the safe hasn't been opened? The money's still in there? And they promised to let her go if I bring back the combination. If you bring it back, oh, no, no, no. We're going to bring it back. Oh, no, Nick, I have to. That's what they said. Well, I'm not authorized to give the combination to anyone. You mean you got the combination with you? Well, well I have no authorization to give it to you or anyone else. Hand it over. But I can't do that. You see, I have no authorization. But you, you, you can't do that. You'll be helping to get away with the money. One turn left to 17, back one turn to 24, three turns left to six. But you'll be as guilty as they are. And you'll be guilty of murder, mister, if those women don't come back. All right, we got to Let's go. No, they said me. And I don't want anything to go wrong. All right. I'll be back in a little while. What are you doing? 
Are you getting ready to go to church or something? Nope. I just hate to let myself get run down in my appearance. There ain't nothing wrong with the way you look. For a saddle bum. Not for decent people. Like girls or somebody like that. Shorty, it doesn't matter how a man looks. It's what he is. People look at me like I was dirt. Always have. You know, Shorty, deep down, I think you're a very decent person. You're just saying that because you want to get away. But I know different. Duke won't let us go. Shorty, want a piece of cake? How about you, Duke? Want a piece of cake? No! Well, it's chocolate. I don't care what... Now, Duke, I know how to use this. Yes, ma'am. I just bet you you do. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. And, ma'am, if you turn around, I'll get you. If you don't... Shorty will. Shorty, get on your horse and ride out. The whole thing isn't worth it. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. Duke, there ain't no sense going on with this. Shorty, you better do what I tell you. I ain't gonna shoot no woman. Well, what do you want her to do, shoot me? Let me go, that's all I ask. Then you can do anything you want. Please, Duke. Shorty, if they come up here uh, looking for her and she ain't around, they're going to gun us down. Mother! 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 I'm all right, dear. I'm all right. We ain't the kind of people that does that. Or wants it. Any of it. And if you do, you ain't my brother. your combination. Get it open today. No, and here's your combination. Oh, thank you. There's only tea left. <laughs> right, Tony. Four. thing on the wagon. We'll take it back to the station. I'll get it open if I have to use dynamite.
That sure is a lot of animal. It's about the best I've seen. Don't tell them our name's Barkley or the price is gonna go up. Well, uh, he's a looker, all right. I'll give you that, McGowan. Look here, son. Can't hardly buy an animal. A fair is that for less. If you're aiming to dicker me down... $300 and nod of your head and you got yourself a deal. $300. We'll pay for the shipping. Save you the cost. I, I might consider $325. Three hundred dollars, not a penny more. Three hundred it is, then. You got the money? In gold. All right, Rodrigo, bring him out. You got a bill of sale. A bill of... About that, I feel plumb foolish. I'm fresh out. I've been doing a lot of business since I started placing ads. Well, any piece of paper with your name on will do just fine. No, no, no. We made a proper deal, and you're entitled to a proper receipt. Wouldn't hear of it any other way. I tell you what. I'll have my foreman, Rodrigo, ride into town. He can pick up a couple of sales forms. Well, that'd be just fine, except waiting for Rodrigo to make us late for that catalog that we're heading for. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll have him catch up to you on the trail with it. That'll be fine with me. And it's settled? They're very considerate, McGowan. My pleasure. for a minute. They'll have to take the old Campbell trail. Go tell Sheriff Barnes he's got a couple of customers. Yes, sir. sail by noon tomorrow. Be as the railhead and Brazos by sundown. We can ship the old boy out from there. Well, it's pushing a little bit, isn't it? What's your hurry? No, mostly selfish, I expect. I hear they got some good cooks in Brazos. Now, what's wrong with them beans? Now, you've gone through a half a dish of yours already. You got the guts to ask me that? Just give me a cup of coffee. Help ease the pain. Well, go on, poor. I've been through drought and flood in five years of... Close enough for a handgun. If they're Apache, they're gonna save ammunition. If they're Apache, we wouldn't have heard them. They'll come in on both sides. Ready? Sneaking up on a man in the middle of the night, I wouldn't call that too friendly. It's just that we had to be sure. Of what? That you wouldn't go to shoot. First chance you had. Now, uh, give up them guns, eh? As soon as we can see plain that you're the sheriff, 
Now you walk in real slow like and freeze your gun hand. you being so sensible. Be a pity if men died over so little now, wouldn't it? I trouble you for those guns now. Sheriff, I got a strong feeling you're mistaking us for somebody else. Oh, no mistake. No mistake. Now, boys, we've gone this far without any bloodshed. Let's keep it that way, huh? Now, Sheriff, I'm ordering you to surrender those weapons. Now, what is all this about? That bull you got staked out over there. Rancher named McGowan reported him stolen. Oh, he did. Well, he's lying or he's drunk or both. We paid good money well, for you that. You paid animal. for him, did you? In gold. Oh, you got proof of that? Well, not exactly. No. No bill of sale? Well, he didn't have any on hand. Oh, come now. Man who moves as much cattle as Mr. McGowan? Well, maybe you got some other record of a deal like a back of an well, envelope. Shook or hands on it. You dirty saddle tramp, you. No, no. Now, wait a minute. We've been on the trail a week, week and a half. We probably look it. But we're not tramps. We're the Barclays. Heath and Nick Barkley of Stockton, California. Your name and where you come from don't prove nothing. Now, look, we're on a cattle buying trip. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Riley, we did some business with him. I have a receipt. Mr. I am not interested. It's proof of what I'm saying. The one has nothing to do with the other. You can fetch up a hundred receipts if you want to. But if the name of Mr. McGowan doesn't appear on one of them, I am not interested. Huh? Rodrigo, go and fetch that bull home. Wait a minute, Rodrigo. He's McGowan's foreman. He said he would bring us the bill of sale. Was that right? Rodrigo, in the truth, Fernandez? No, senor. I've never seen them before in my life. Now, I don't want to hear any more palaver out of either one of you. Get along, Rodrigo. I think you better hold it right there, Rodrigo. You all right? I think so. Now, before anyone really gets hurt, let's go. His leg. His leg needs dressing. There'll be a doctor where you're going. Now get mounted. Captain Ridley, if you'll sign for me. Eh? Well, am I expected to read your mind, Sheriff? Oh, 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 they, they, they rustled the steer. They say the name's Barkley. Hey, listen. The serial number 370 is open, sir. He died of the fever a while back. 597 is also open. Assign them. No, 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 wait a minute. You accuse us of stealing that bull. All right, accuse us in a court of law, we can tell our side. Peterson, I don't remember giving 370 permission to speak. No, sir. Why he just ask a question? Prisoners do not speak without first obtaining permission. Prisoners do not argue with their superiors. Prisoners, if they wish to survive their period of confinement, Think and do exactly what they are told. How's a man to know if he can speak without getting a belly full of splinters? By requesting permission in the following manner. Sir, permission to speak. I'm sorry I asked. Take them away. Wait. Permission to speak. Sir. 
permission to speak, sir. Granted. Now, when do we get a chance to tell our side? When the circuit judge comes to town. You'll be taken there under arrest, accused of your crime, and brought back here to serve your term of imprisonment. When does the judge get here? Approximately two months. Two months? Look, putting aside the fact that this whole thing is a pack of lies, even if we were guilty, we'd be entitled to stay in the regular town jail for trial. Awaiting trial in the regular town jail, you'd accomplish no useful purpose. Well, purpose? That's our right. You dare to speak about rights? What about Mr. McGowan's right to be protected against the abuse of thieves? Nobody mentioned his name. How did you know it was McGowan's livestock? Peterson, come on. Present, Captain. Prepare the men for inspection. All personnel stand to for the captain's inspection. Good morning, 945. Good morning, sir. Beautiful morning, yes, sir. Nine four five, do you like it here? Like it here? Green fields? Trout swimming pretty in the water. All my friends around. My rocking chair. All that a man could want for. It's quite simple. He's gone into a world of his own making, a world in which he is quite happy. He does not resist, he obeys. And that is what I demand from every man here. Obedience. Obedience. It's your only hope. Hope for what? To survive. Peterson. Detail. Move to the wagons. Risley. Uh, Captain Risley. The prescribed way or not at all. Permission to speak, sir. Granted. My brother, he, uh, you, he said he could see a doctor today. Well, you should have spoken up before the formation was dismissed. Now he'll just have to wait until tomorrow morning. Make it till I see the doctor. Tomorrow. All right, you men, quit the stalling. Come on, let's move. Get these rocks out of here.
you said tomorrow, son. There's no tomorrow's here. <laughs> I'm not as loco as you boys might have thought. It's uh, just that place I go to. When being here gets to be too much. Only thing is, you know, uh, I'm liable to go there once and not be able to come back. This federal or state line? Neither. We lost her ranch in the name of McGowan. McGowan? Now it all begins to figure. His way of getting labor one tenth the price of regular hire. What little he does pay goes into Risley's pocket. Mm-hmm. And if work slows down or men die, they have to be replaced. One way or another. Didn't anyone ever break out of here? Yes. And it can work. I was here that time, too. There's something you're holding back about that time. But they didn't make it, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Billy. Shut up. There's no call for that. I wasn't hurting anybody. Not hurting anybody. Keeps talking about that break a couple of years ago. Got every man scared to throw with me. What happened then? Grizzly somehow got word. The first five men were cut down before they got to the gate. But I got it figured this time. And you two go along, there'll be enough of us to get it done. Mm -mm. I'll wait for that circuit judge. We don't want to give him any legitimate reason to keep us here. How's the leg getting worse? Sam. Here, piece of cheese I've been saving. Oh, go on, go on. With your leg hurt like that, you need all you can get to keep your strength up. Good, thanks, Billy. prison commission was made up of men instead of snakes, they'd see to it that we had food enough to live on. Commission? You mean to tell me the prison authorities have been here and seen this and have done nothing about it? We're dirt, haven't you heard? Dirt don't deserve no better. How long have you been here, Billy? I don't, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. I got no years. Just hope. Hope that someday I'll walk out in green fields again. And that when I die, it'll be someplace where, where a cool breeze blows across the land like, like the smile of a pretty woman. Yeah, but that's foolish. It'll never happen. back, Audra. I'm going to have to be away on business for a couple of days. Since when do you need a gun to go on business? All right. It's Dick and Heath. What happened? Three days late getting back from Hayesville. I sent a telegram to a Mr. Riley over there, a cattleman they did business with. He said the last he saw them, they headed off into a county where the sheriff arrests strangers just because they're strangers. He went over there and asked a few questions. Found out the two men who fit their description had been arrested. Mother will be home from Denver this afternoon. What do I tell her? Don't tell her anything. I'll send you a telegram just as soon as I know anything at all.
Doctor? Actually, he's rather a competent physician. And sober. From what I can see, that's never. I won't trouble you anymore with my leg. Trouble? Men like you cause me no trouble. Well, you're quite right. There's no excuse for a professional man being derelict in his duty. The way this prison is run, he's reacting the way any other doctor would. You're making excuses for him. <laughs> he's trash. Anybody can see that. Why do you let him stay? What reputable physician would take this job? A prison is the final reservoir for the scum of this world. And yourself included? No, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. It took me 17 years to get my own ship. 17 years. Not one black mark. Not one single reprehensible incident. Not one. Honorable, distinguished service. And then, then they conspired against me, my crew. My crew. They weren't men. They were pigs. Or were they men treated like pigs? Silence. I order you be silent. What really happened, Risley? Given the power to command, you weren't able to use it? Isn't that right? I said, be silent. You said it was your men. But it was you who got thrown out of the Navy. Isn't that right? Isn't that what you're taking out on the prisoners here? I ordered you silent. And you disobeyed my orders. Peterson! Get him out of here. I want him punished. Get him out. Get him out! I don't know what it's for, but it don't matter. He interfered and it can only go worse for him. Believe me, much worse. All present, Captain. Five nine seven has been found guilty of a breach of conduct. I'll direct your attention to the administering of punishment. seem to fit that description now, don't they? There's one way to find out for sure, isn't there? Let me see them. Oh, they ain't here. He's being held down at the farm. Now, by farm, I assume you mean the road gang. Mm -hmm. When was the trial, Sheriff? Oh, well, there wasn't any. No trial? Well, what I mean is, not yet. When do you think it might be? Well, it 
<laughs> Traeger judge be around here sooner or later, I expect. We'll get around it sometime. When men are accused of a crime, you don't get around to trying them. Well, that's the way it is around here. I'm sorry. You denied these men a trial by jury and committed them to a road gang, and you're sorry. Where are you going? I'm going to telegraph the circuit judge for a writ, releasing those men into my custody and demand an immediate trial. Then I'm riding out to the prison. And when I get there, Sheriff, you'd better be there. <laughs> Risley? I'm Captain Risley. My name is Jared Barkley. I've come here to see my brothers, Heath and Nick Barkley. Oh, yes. Well, those were the two thieves you arrested, weren't they, Sheriff? That's right, Cap. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Barkley, but their privileges have been suspended. Not permitted any visitors. Unless, of course, you have some uh, official document overruling my authority. I wasn't able to find the circuit judge, so I don't have a writ right at the moment. Well, then things will just have to remain as they are. I'm very sorry, Mr. Barkley. You had to make that long journey for nothing. Risley, I didn't take this long journey for nothing. I refer you to the Federal Code, Chapter 8, Paragraph 12, Subsection 9. Any official, federal, state, or territorial who impedes in any manner a qualified attorney in the practice of his profession is guilty of committing a crime. Punishable by fine or imprisonment or both. Now, Mr. Risley, as an attorney licensed to practice law in a number of states, this one included, I don't have to ask you to see my clients, which my brothers have just become. I have an unqualified right to see them. Well, the fact that you're an attorney does alter the situation. Naturally, sir, you have my permission to consult with your clients. Here, just a minute. Peterson, allow Mr. Barkley to visit his clients. Your gun, Mr. Barkley. Jared. He's very sick, Jared. How did it happen? For one thing, a burned leg, no doctor to attend it. They won't give him any good food so he can get his strength back, and they whipped him. All right. The circuit judge should be in Brazos by now. I'm going to ride there and bring him back here just as fast as I can. In the meantime, whatever you do, don't antagonize Risley. Well, I'm going to have to stop breathing to guarantee that. Nick, and you're going to have to ride that horse of yours into the ground to make it back here on time. I'll make it. Peterson! Your time is up, Mr. Barkley. Hang on, Heath. It'll only be a little while longer. Hang on. Yeah. Risley? Yes, Counselor. I'll be back with the circuit judge. The California Barclays. Now, how could have McGowan been so stupid as to pick them? Well, the point is, he did. We weren't much smarter waiting till now to place them. I'm for getting out of this thing while we still can, Captain. And abandon this entire operation? Never. Oh, look, these ain't saddle bums we're talking about. They're Barclays. When they talk to the judge and then after him, the prison commission, they'll be listened to. Well, they can't do much talking if they're dead. 
We could never get away with that now. Murder, no. But if they attempted a prison break? You mean force them to try? How? There are ways. Many ways. Captain. Now all we have to do is wait. Your attention. Now. It'll be hot enough today to kill a man standing still. Let alone pounding rock. Therefore, there'll be no work today. After inspection, you'll return to your quarters. Peterson, prepare them for inspection. Stand to for the captain's inspection. Button your shirt. He's making it plain. In his condition, the box will kill that boy. Arms down. He hasn't had any water. Did you say something, 370? Say so he hasn't had any water. Do you wish to speak? Permission to speak, sir. Granted. He hasn't had any water. Excuse me, sir, but uh, the guards are ready to leave for town. I was wondering if you could sign this order. It takes five guards to pick up one wagon load of barbed wire. That's quite a bit of wire, sir. It will be undermanned. Very well. Provided they'll be back by morning call. Yes, sir. Now, you were saying? Captain. Please. Peterson, dismiss. You men are confined to quarters. Detail, dismiss. You can find the quarters, Barkley. chance. Take it. But what kind of a man are you? That's your brother out there and you and you don't care. Don't. Don't you ever say that to me again. We, we've got to wait for Jared to get back. All right. But while you're waiting, your brother, he could die.
Captain? I checked with Frank in town. Barkley's brother and the judge may be here sometime tonight. And Barkley still hasn't taken the bait. Bring him in here. Sit down. Aren't you going to ask me about 597? 597. Five, That's a man you have out in that sweat box. Heath Barkley, not a bunch of numbers. Aren't you going to ask me about him? Would it do any good? You're still full of your own pride, aren't you? Well, that doesn't surprise me. I know you well enough by now. We're even. I've killed enough corn pigs in my time to know enough about you. You want to kill me? I do. And given the opportunity, you'll try. I will. Well, in view of this situation, I'd say the distance between the intent and the deed may prove an impossible journey for you. I'll work it out. Oh, really? How? I don't know. Yes. Oh, yes. Patience. Patience. The way of the intelligent man. Wait until you're free, and then pick your own time. Meanwhile, of course, 597 will be dead. At this very moment, I warrant, his flesh is being burnt raw. His tongue is so swollen that it chokes him. No doubt he is gradually losing his sanity. That explains the mumbled sounds, the incoherent noise. What do you want? Tell me! What kind of a price does it take to buy you? Anything you want. Any price. But just let him out of there. There is one thing I might accept. Yes. Now, you said anything. You really care that much for him? Any price. Money? That's really not quite so rare a commodity. What's your dignity? Your precious Barclay dignity. Now, that does command the value. Now, what is the price of your brother's life? What is the only thing, the only thing that will take that key to the sweat box and give it to you? Well, it's simple. Very simple. Your dignity. Will you beg? Will you beg? From a man you hate? Will you get down on your hands and knees and beg? Men don't beg. Exactly. Take the responsibility. Now, wait a I minute. I can't take the responsibility of you getting killed. Now, you're going to wait here for that judge. Yeah, but you listen. Look, I have no choice. i got to get my brother out of that box. All right. 
But you'll need help. No. I can take care of that fence. All right. All right. Understand, your men are to hold their fire until the Barclays are outside, outside the wire. There must be unmistakable evidence of an escape attempt. I better get out there with them. Trap. Why? It's a trap. That swine Risley. Those guards never left. They're waiting. The other side of the fence. All right, all right. Now look. First thing we gotta do is get Heath out of that sweat box. Get back to the hut, barricade ourselves in. And pray that Jared and the judge get here on time. Come on. I should have figured you'd be around a watch. Well, your little trap didn't work. Doesn't really matter. 
Actually, I prefer you know what you're walking into. You think I'm going to go through that fence now? Oh, you are. Oh, yes, you are. You're out of your mind. On the contrary, I'm behaving quite logically. Start walking. Keep walking. What about my brother? First you and then him. Well, now you're going to need the key. You want that judge to find his body outside the fence with mine. Stop! Thank you for correcting my oversight. Now, hand me the key. Everything's going to be all right. I brought a doctor. Who's responsible for this? That's the man there, Judge. That is, if you can call him a man. around okay, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess you'll be going home now. Oh, well, well, there's going to be some changes, lots of them. For instance, right now, the, the camp has been turned over temporarily to a federal marshal. Risley, the sheriff, and McGowan will be made to answer for what they've done. And every one of your sentences is going to be reviewed. Well, uh, that's more than we could have hoped for before. Billy, you know that place you were talking about? Where the earth is rich? The breeze blows over the land like a pretty woman's smile. Well, there is such a place. And there's a job there waiting for you when you're free. You write me at this address. When it's time, and I'll come for you. Well, Lobo. Well,
It'll be easier riding today, ma'am. Get cooler once we get out of the flatlands. How much longer is it going to be? Just a couple of minutes. Can I take this for you? Yes, thank you very much. Ready to board, Mr. Cross? I just have Miss Branch in here first. Good morning, Miss Branch. Thank you, but I can manage by myself. Oh, now, we've been traveling a good many miles together. It's time we were friends, don't you think? Would you excuse me, please? You went to bed pretty early last night, didn't you? You know, next town, I gotta stay over a couple of days. Why don't you and I just plan? Why don't you just back off, Mr. Cross? I don't think the lady's interested. Let's get aboard, folks. Howdy, ma'am. You folks heading east towards uh, Stevensville? That's right. Well, I just come that way. Back there about 10 miles in those Sawtooth Mountains, had a big rock slide, a bad one. There ain't gonna be nothing but horse and foot travel through there for quite a while. What does that mean? We gotta use the old road, ma'am. Cuts north through the Black Rock. Put us in Stevensville nearly a day late. Thanks, friend. Right. Let's get started. travel these parts. Why do you travel these parts, Mr. Cross? You haven't told us. Why, well, to sell death, ma'am. I travel dead country to have people get dead. Simple as that. I'm a gun salesman. Come on, just help yourself. Can 
not loaded. Best of the line. Precision made, hair trigger, guaranteed. Guaranteed to do what, Mr. Cross? Shoot straight. Kill whatever you shoot at if your aim's good. Look mighty fine hanging that holster of yours. I carry a gun for protection, Mr. Cross. Mine'll do just fine. Ain't no gun ever made. Wasn't made to kill. Protection's just a nice way of putting it. What's your way of looking at it? Oh, may I see that, please? Uh, that, that wasn't made for ladies. Uh, ladies carry something lighter. Smaller, easier. Now, it's not a good idea to point a gun, Miss Branson, even if it isn't loaded. Let's just say it is loaded, Mr. Cross. Right now. How do you like uh, looking death in the face, Mr. Cross? <laughs> Ma'am. Well, you talk about death real easy. Almost like it's a joke. How do you like it? How do you feel? Just a slight pressure on the trigger. Ma'am. The man who killed my husband, he used one of these guns. You could be the man who sold it to him. Don't you find that amusing? Guess nobody here needs a new gun. Just put them away. I think that'd be a good idea, Mr. Cross. Yeah. I'm sorry about your husband. It's over. Killer. That's what it is. Just lying out there waiting. They're saying, come on. He ain't gonna hurt you. He's gonna cook you to death. Get out nice and easy, like. We got nothing you want. First, turn on your gun belt. Now throw him down! the rider this morning. Yes, sir. I was the one. Come on. Nobody gonna get hurt here, nobody. All we wanted was the money. You gonna play it stupid? Well, you ain't gonna live now, no, sir. Roper! You kill him, we'll have to kill them all. You said so yourself. Let the desert do it. It's 40 miles either way. Who's to know? Who's to say? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> That's it. There's nothing else in there they can use. Let's go. Give us a chance. One canteen. The next stage won't be through here for three days. Wrong. Grand. Next stage won't be through at all. That rock slide chaps told you about this morning? Wasn't any. Only rock slide was the one we arranged right here. So don't be expecting anybody to be coming along this way. 
Nobody has for years. Have a nice walk. Burying a man was such a simple thing. Gallop that way. Mitchell Mine that way. What's it gonna be? Neither, as far as I can see. This heat and no water. Best of us wouldn't last a day. Especially him. You know this country. Isn't there water any place? I'm just a stage driver, man. I follow the roads. Once there were no roads. What's that supposed to mean? You tell me that death always knocks twice. Perhaps... Perhaps that is why I've been traveling through this country all these years without realizing it until just now. It's one. Oh, well, when? Just like before. Makes sense, Cross. They're what now? Seven? This time? Uh, before they was 30. Three of them lived, I was one of them. I thought I was fortunate at the time. I should have known. You mean you were out here like this once before and lived? How? With the mountain. There's a small wagon train and the water was low. And there's supposed to be a pass through those mountains and a spring. But a scout, he guessed wrong. And he led them to the wrong pass, and there's no water. No spring. Over on the other side, there's another place, a uh, mining town called Salt Flats. I've heard of it. I made it there with the two of them. You got the water, brought it back. War is no good for 27 dead people. If there was a spring, could you find the right way this time? Ma'am, them mountains he's raving about are further away than we come on the stage. He's right. You never make it. Unless, uh, unless what? Well, there was a place. I remember it was, it was almost dried up then, but it was the last place we got water. Yeah. Where was it, Cross? I don't know. Back there somewhere. Excuse me. You know, those men were no fools. They wouldn't make it out there either without any water to water those horses. Maybe. Maybe if we follow them. There are plenty of tracks. Just a minute. Do you have ammunition for these? Not a whole lot of them to waste, is there? I hope you don't need no target practice. You never make it with or without those bullets. Excuse me. Mr. Cross. You let me live my own life. What's left of it? My own way. I'm going with you. You go follow those tracks, ma'am. Give you something to do before you... I got something to do. You drunk. You no good rotten drunk. 
Let him alone. He'll come when he's ready. What about Bert? We can make a travoy out of that carpet. Let's get started. This is better than nothing. Leave her alone. It's the worst thing. I'm sorry, I should have known. It's just that I'm so thirsty. <coughs> well, he's gonna die. Why not here? He's only holding us up. Heath. You leave. It's my turn on the Travoy. Oh, 
No, please. It ain't bad. Honest. Some people say it tastes like chicken. It's, uh... It's still a snake. You better. I think I'd be ill. You'll be ill if you don't. Please, ma'am. See if I can get some down, Bert. <laughs> Bert. I, I remember when I was a little girl, my father used to say, take what you can get and be thankful for it. Are you thankful? How far along are you? Four months. I wish I could do or say something that would help you. Losing a husband at a time when you need him the most. It... There's nothing to say, Mrs. Barkley. My husband was killed three years ago. Oh. He's bleeding again. No, thank you. I've had mine. You go on and take it. You gotta think about your little one. meat on there for you. He's burning up. What about it, Cross? You got any ideas? Why me? I told you from the start. That... You told us there was a water hole out here somewhere. That was ten years ago. Every day, that desert changes. Sand where there wasn't any. Rock used to be a landmark. Gone. What do you want from me? <laughs> he could have died back there at the stagecoach. You could do it right here. Or you could go on out there and do it there. What difference it make to me? What's the matter with you? Are you afraid to try? Nobody's gonna... You leave you me alone. alone! You hear me? Leave me alone! Some old coyote listening to herself. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I was having a dream. It comes back from time to time. Just uh, 
Just some cattle and a few crops, but... But it was home. I was happy. Until it stopped being a home. Ma'am? To a woman, uh, her home is where her man is. And he was always there. Working and planning. Someday, he'd say. Someday. Well, it didn't happen, so it's no sense talking about it. You must have cared an awful lot. I don't remember what he looks like. I can hardly remember. Well, they say that sometimes happens. No kids around to remind you. You see him in their eyes, the way they look. I know what you're thinking. Go ahead and think it. Oh, no, ma'am. I wasn't thinking. Honestly. Woman alone has got to make out the best way she can. I'm not saying I did anything right. I guess I was... I was lost. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, you don't. I knew a man. He seemed so different from the rest. He said he wanted to marry me. It was like getting born all over again. Someone to share plans with. A good life to look forward to. But then he left. And I waited until I knew it was no use. I've got a sister who lives in Stevensville. Well, at least she used to live there. I've got no other place to go to. I'm just sure she's still there. We need that anymore, Charlie.
Maybe you rest a while. I'm all right. Come on. I'll be fine. I'm honest. We're all tired. We all need a rest. Cross, what do you think? We headed right? I think so. If I didn't, I'd have told you. Somebody's got a ride. Let's get around him. That you'd be cleaned and sterilized and... Uh, oh. Shh, Charlie, just lie still now. Yeah, yeah. lie still. Oh, almost did. It'll be all right. Yeah. See? Yes, sir. You. There, Charlie. Oh, there. Oh. What are you trying to do, woman? Burn a hole in my head. No, I'm not, but just hold still, <coughs> Charlie. Let me tend to you now. Hush. Come on. Oh, just hold still. That mean, stupid, ornery, no count clear. What was he doing out here, anyhow? What was that horse doing out here? I've never seen a horse stay around any place without any... without any water. Why didn't I see that? It's Finger Rock. Wagon train. It, it, we, we were coming from the southeast, not this way. You see, this way it looks different. That's why I didn't see it. That's why I didn't make it out. That, that, that is the water hole. Come on, Charlie. Get up, Charlie. Come on. Enjoy yourselves. It's all you got. You're nothing else. No?
Just a sip. First time I ever wanted to kiss a runaway horse. <laughs> That's the last of it. We got all that was left. mountains. Which way do we start up? Come on, Cross. You found this place? What was it you said? Ten years ago, that scout that was leading your wagon train. He made a mistake. That's right. Let you up into the wrong pass. No spring, no water. All those people died, except you. You and two others. You made it out. Found the right pass, found the spring. Made it across to Salt Flats. Get help. Only when you got back, it was too late. You got that all wrong. We never found that spring. You mean you were able to get across that desert? All that heat? With no water? No. You must have had water. No, we did not. Where would we get water? There was nothing between this place and Salt Flats except that spring. Which you didn't find. But you found Finger Rock. What are you saying? You have a strange hatred for this desert, Mr. Cross. That bottle you've hidden behind all these years. Bad memories. Nightmares. You watch what you say to me. You hear? Who are you, Mr. Cross? A gun salesman? I suppose so. That drunk? That's obvious. Where do you get off talking to me like years that? Years ago, that was something different, wasn't it, Cross? You were something different. You were the one who made that mistake, led those people up in the mountain to die. No! You were the no. guide for that wagon train. Scout, I was that scout! Those people that I was leading, they were so in a hurry to get to Oregon. I pleaded with them. I said, go slow. Go round about. Along the Sierras. There's plenty of water there. They wouldn't listen to me. No, sir. Through here, as fast as. Well, they was paying me, they said, see? If I didn't do it, they'd hire somebody else. I got them this far. Was there any more water there when we got here than when we found it just now? I didn't know those hills. I, I'd heard of a pass and a spring. I had to get them out of here. I had to guess. It was our only chance. Well, I guess wrong. When we got there, there was no spring. No water. When we took their water, I figured if I could make it to Salt Flats, I could 
Bring back plenty of water. I figured... What did you say? You took their water? Those other two men. They forced me to with a gun. You see, I was their guide. I was their scout. They, they needed me. And they threatened to kill me if I didn't. I told them that... that there was only one canteen full of water in that whole wagon train. Half. I said, just leave them half. And took the whole thing. Took all of it. Left them there to die. That was ten years ago. I never talked about it. I never mentioned it before. Want to know why? Look at you. Look at your faces. That's why. I should have let those men kill me. Okay, Cross, you were wrong once. Do you think you can hit it right this time? No, nobody's gonna make me guess wrong again. We're not making you, we're asking you. Try, just try! <laughs> mistake again. It's the wrong pass. Twenty-seven people are buried up there. We're never gonna make it any other way. It's too late. It'll be dark soon. We keep going when it's cooler. Maybe we'll get over. Nothing on the other side. All flights is easy, 20 more miles. There's nothing here. to that 20 more? Rest, Mother. Just rest. It's cooler. Yeah. It's that way most places, I reckon. When night comes. Like my place. After sundown. Crickets kicking up a storm. Frogs down by the stream. Croaking away. Big old trees. I even got grass. Everybody has to have a place to look back on. To call home. It's a need. I'd like you to think about my place. Well, 
Thank you very much, Charlie. I'd like to do that. Thank you. I think it's time we went on. It looks like a fire up there. Could be wild Shoshones. Well, maybe they're friendly. If they're not, better act like you got more than one bullet in that gun. Charlie, you stay here with the women. Cross, we may need you. Let's go. Drop it. He won't be heading for Salt Flats. And like the man said, there won't be anybody coming by. I'll go get the others. You never did say why you were traveling out here. Oh, well, Jared had some legal business in Stevensville, and he wanted to look at a new strain of cattle that's being bred there. I had some friends there, and... I don't know, I guess... I guess you could say I was on a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> we better be going. You know, I... I still can't figure how... how I could have missed it before. What month did you come through here, Cross? Right the middle of August. This is the end of June. Summer's just really starting to boil. By August, every spring in these hills will be dry. You didn't make a mistake, Cross. And you didn't guess wrong. You brought those people to the right place. You gotta figure nature, Mr. Cross. Whether it comes natural, like... like that desert, or... or human. Like us. Either way, it can bust up a person pretty bad. I'll give him a new life. Don't question it. 